Hey, I say y'all peace in Palo Santo 6. It is your girl, the hippie healer. Excuse my voice. I just, I'm like, I kind of just lost it over the week. But so crazy. I'm going through my comments, right? The Aquarius comments. And somebody um, wrote, can you please do one for Libra? Now, I don't choose the zodiac signs. I do, y'all. I go through my tarot deck off, off camera, obviously, because I only got 10 minutes. Basically, just go through this until I get a card of what zodiac sign. Why did I get Libra? <laughs> the energy I got is Libra energy, but this is the two of swords. This is very much like um, stalemate. And every time I see this card, I think of somebody who is trying to make a decision. Stuck between a rock and a hard place. Maybe stuck between wanting to go repeat a cycle, close out a cycle and go in a different direction. Should I stay? Should I go? That type of energy. That's what I always get um, <laughs> when I see this this card. So um, we're going to get into the energy so I can see what's going on with my lucky Libras. Divine Spirit, guys. Angels. And you know what? Seeing that card too just makes me think of like a Libra who's just kind of off balance like you don't know which way to tip your scale um that's that's the energy i'm getting so now i really understand why somebody was like can you please do one for libra because somebody's probably in the energy of just being like torn in between the two i'm hearing uh i don't know if you guys a channel channel song i'm getting is latoya luckett torn in between the two i don't really know i'm, I'm the worst at knowing the uh the title of a, a song but i think it's I think it's torn or torn in between the two. That's the song that I'm hearing in my head right now. All right, let's see what's going on. Wait, first of all, I didn't say anything. Divine spirit, guys, angels, ancestors, cosmic family of the brightest love, light, healing, prosperity, and protection. Please give me clear and accurate messages for my Libras. Clear and accurate messages for my Libras. What is it that they need to hear and know the most at this time? What is it that they need to hear and know the most at this time? Please just block out any interferences as I get these messages across and protect my space. Thank you so much, Spirit. Ashe, Ashe, and Ashe. What is it that the Libras need to hear and know the most at this time? What is it that my Libras need to hear and know the most at this time? Should I stay or should I go? That is what I'm really hearing. What I get, what I get, what I get. Libra, I'm already getting a vibe. We might have to do a part two because I don't know. So it says bravery. You're being asked to make a tough decision <laughs> that you've been putting off because of fear, which is understandable. <laughs> but you do have the that you do have the strength and bravery to make the decision and you will feel so much lighter when you do. So Libra, your energy is really heavy right now because you know in your spirit you know you want to make a change and you're struggling to do so because you know sometimes it's hard for us to leave our, our comfort zone and our safety net and things of that nature. But what I'm hearing is, you know, the comfort zone is, is where dreams go to die. The comfort zone is where you'll you'll stagnate your growth trying to stay in the comfort zone. Ultimately, a lot of you are in a, in a situation where you know you need to make a change. You're unsettled in your spirit. You know you need to you know you need to do something different. Maybe in a connection. I, I'm kind of getting that energy in a connection with somebody, and you're scared to do so. You're scared to walk into the unknown. But um, you have the strength. You have the strength to do so. And it's going to be a situation where it's like a weight is going to be lifted off your shoulder. A lot of you don't understand the peace that's going to come with you walking away from a situation that no longer serves you. Tell me more for my Libras. Tell me more for my Libra spirit. says patience you're being asked to protect excuse me even you're being asked to practice patience right now it's not easy to do this but you're strong and there's a reason why things aren't aligning the way you want them to in this moment have patience it will eventually work out so i'm getting the energy of like i'm talking to libras on i'm talking to some libras on uh, different timelines. So understand all of my readings are general. Take what resonates to you and your situation. Leave the, the rest behind. My readings are also timeless. So this can apply to past, present, or future. Now, the energy that I'm getting for some of you, you have not made the tough decision yet. For some of you, you have made that tough decision. And 
it's like, okay, now, now what? Like, what's next? What's to come next? Um, I see something. What's on the back of this deck? What's next? So a lot of you are like in this space of the unknown. Sometimes, some of you are scared to make a decision because... You are walking into the unknown. Some of you are now in the place of an unknown where it's just like, okay, what next? Tell me more for my Libras. It says healing. Yeah. Okay, so the patience is very much so you being patient with yourself. Libra, this is a time of renewal for you. Okay. For some of you, you needed to make, you needed to take, you needed to make this tough choice of walking away from a certain situation, friend group, job, fr uh, family dynamics, something, so you could find peace. You're healing with, like, for some of you, it's like, you know you're in a place where you've been hurt and you need to heal, but you're trying to heal in the same environments that broke you. And that's not going to work for you. And you know what, for some of you, for some of you, you've made this decision already and you want to hurry up and rush to the part where everything just feels okay. But healing is a dance. Healing, sometimes healing can look like you wake up one day and you're feeling confident and so proud of yourself and the decision that you've made. And I'll never go back to that and this, that, and the third. And it can also look like the next day where you, you're struggling to get out of bed. But learn how to be patient with yourself. Learn how to give yourself grace. The card says healing. Your body, mind, and soul are all in a period of deep healing right now. You're going through many transformations at once. And you're being asked to allow yourself to receive the healing you need with open arms and an open heart. Do not rush your healing, Libra. It takes time. It really does. And they always say, like, time heals all wounds. That is the biggest bullshit I've ever heard. It's really what you're doing within that period in time that heals all wounds. If you get out of a situation where somebody broke your heart and your first thing is, all right, boom, let's get some money. Let's stay busy. Let's this, let's, let's, you know, let's keep myself consumed in something you're not healing. You're suppressing your emotions. You're keeping yourself busy to distract yourself from what it is that you're feeling on the inside. And for a lot of you, you need to take that time to sit with yourself and be patient with yourself as you go through the process. Okay. Tell me more for my Libras. Tell me more for my Libras. It says pause. You're being asked to pause before making a quick decision and moving forward. Allow yourself to step back. Look at all of the possibilities, outcomes, and make sure you're heading in the right direction before moving forward. Yeah, this is another patience card. This is another card about just... Some of you are like... um, Are very much so in your emotions right now. And I'm getting this energy of, of a lot of you needing to make a head over heart decision. A head over heart decision. I'm hearing for somebody, it's like, but there's just so much time invested. I've invested so much time. I've invested so much time. Like, I can't. It says, reassess. You're being asked to take stock of your life and let go of anything or anyone that no longer makes you happy. I fucking said it. Some of you, some of you have made the right decision. Some of you haven't. Some of you have have decided to, to go back to a situation or stay in a situation. 9-11, I just caught, which always gives me like urgency, caution. Um, I'm going to have to do a part two for y'all. I can already see where this is going. But um, a lot of you have, you're, you're really thinking about staying in a situation based off of time invested. And spirit is saying that you need to reassess that. It says you're being asked to take stock of your life and let go of anything or anyone that no longer makes you happy. Notice who and what brings you joy and who and what doesn't. It's time for some life cleanup. All right, I'm going to come back for a part two. Libra, I'm not done. I just kind of feel like there's more I need to channel. But, um, and...